thank you for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into viewer sun and photos and videos. Got a very wintry pattern setting up here. Joe Drejos from Johnson City, New York. Take a look at these beautiful photos here of sunset across Johnson City. Those beautiful crimson colors across the Johnson City area this past Friday. Take a look at my photos here from a very similar area. Beautiful crimson colors right around the 4.45, 5 p.m. Only lasted about seven to eight minutes with these beautiful colors across the twin tiers of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. When you get that low sun angle this time of year across the north, you can really bring out some good color here. Take a look at the forecast. For those of you that have really been down that winter has taken quite a break, it's going to be back here. Let's take a look at the pattern really shaping up this weekend. And this doesn't even count the major lake effect and lake enhanced snowstorm that will be going on across upstate New York and northwest Pennsylvania the next 72 hours. Take a look at what could be this weekend here. Low pressure ejecting out of the mid-Mississippi River Valley towards the Appalachians, Virginia, and up towards Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and parts of southern New England here, maybe upstate New York getting in on the act. This system doesn't have a ton of moisture to work with, but it does have a moderate amount of moisture. And we'll have this trough really digging in here with the subtropical jet and the polar jet. And this is the pattern that will really be taking shape the next couple weeks here across the east. So we'll start to get in on the act here, even if it's light to moderate accumulations here across portions of the mid-Atlantic. So we'll have to watch for this system. And it remains to be seen how much moisture this system can tap into from the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic. But this is one to watch because portions of the Appalachians and into Virginia, Maryland, and parts of Pennsylvania and New York could get some snowfall out of this this weekend. So we'll watch for this major pattern change. Let's get right into precipitation amounts across the country. Right around the edges here, the west coast, you'll still continue, but we'll start to tone things down out west. Back east here, mid-Mississippi River Valley on eastward, towards Texas on northeast, towards the Ohio River Valley, the mid-Atlantic on southward here. That's where we'll start to get in on the active precipitation totals here. And take a look at the pattern change here. This is reminiscent of a weak El Nino. We'll start to get that split flow, Polar jet rides to the north, subtropical a little bit to the south here, and look at back east here. Trough takes over eastern North America, and we get that cold cell start to develop here as the polar vortex starts to pinwheel across northern North America towards the eastern part of the continent. So we'll slowly slip into winter time here across the northeast. Now some of you in New York State and parts of northwest Pennsylvania, take a look at this. Snowfall totals from Wednesday afternoon all the way through Friday morning. Take a look at some of these totals. Places like Erie, Pennsylvania, Jamestown, New York, so Southern Buffalo. These areas could see up to 12 to as much as 24 inches of snowfall in this really intense lake effect and lake enhanced snow band that develops on the back side of this departing low across the Northeast with an associated trough of low pressure it helps enhance and squeeze out all that moisture. You get that north, northwest flow and across Lake Erie, that west flow. So across Lake Ontario, it's more of a northerly and northwesterly flow. And it will enhance the moisture on the backside of this trough here across the northeast. Places like Syracuse, Oswego, Cayuga County. Places like Cortland, New York, Oneonta. These areas could see six inches or more of snowfall accumulation. Places like Ithaca, maybe six inches to as much as eight inches of snow out of this lake enhanced snowstorm. Parts of the Adirondacks will start to get in on the act as well. Maybe as much as six to eight inch totals here in the deepest part of the Adirondacks. But the big story right around the Syracuse area points eastward. That's where we could see a foot or more of snow accumulation likely. And totals approaching 20 inches maybe as much as 25 in some of these heavier bands, especially right on the east end of Lake Erie and on the southeast end of Lake Ontario here. Now places like Binghamton, I think you'll be saved mostly from this significant snow. Don't be surprised if you spit out about one to two inches 
per forecast period out of this. So about 12 to every 12 to 24 hours, you could get about one to two inches of snow possibly out of this. But the big story for Binghamton on southward and just westward here, these areas outside of these snowfall totals, you'll see a lot of wind out of this as well. But these snow belt areas, you'll see tremendous amounts of wind as well. Blizzard conditions will be likely. So the big story here is the lake enhanced snowstorm going on across parts of upstate New York, up 81 here, the New York State Thruway, and especially south, southern Buffalo on south, westward and southeastward here across western New York and extreme northwestern Pennsylvania. I think Warren will get probably about a total of five to six, maybe as much as seven inches out of this. Bradford right around the three to five inch range. So there you have it. Most of the snow stays in these snow belt areas. No ice expected across the Northeast, not expecting any snow, sleet, freezing rain, or sleet or freezing rain for that matter, during the next 72 to 96 hours. So let's get right into the forecast, starting off with your Wednesday there. I showed you the, where the heaviest snowfall total action will be. Erie, Pennsylvania, so, southern parts of the Buffalo area, uh, across Chautauqua, Allegheny, Cattaraugus counties, Erie, Pennsylvania, Erie County, and over towards portions of upstate New York here, parts of Onondaga, Madison, Oswego, Wayne County, Cortland County, Cayuga County, Shenango County, Otsego County, all these counties, Tompkins County, where Ithaca is at, we'll start to see those six inch totals or more start to take effect during your day on Wednesday, turning very blustery and cold on the backside of this trough. But it's Thursday. Here it is, the big day for snow here across the Northeast. This gets really exciting in the snow belt areas. Syracuse really socked in over to Utica, Oswego, over towards portions just east of Rochester. Southern suburbs of Buffalo really getting in on the act here over towards Chautauqua County. Olean on westward, Jamestown, Erie, Pennsylvania, Warren, all these areas really getting the big fetch off Erie. And then of course, Lake Enhanced here off Lake Ontario is the cold air really blasts in with northwest winds gusting up to 25 to 45 miles per hour, making it feel much colder than these temperature readings here I'm showing you across upstate New York and Pennsylvania for that matter. So really cold and blustery and temperatures barely getting out of the 20s in some areas, even teens in the northern part of the North Country here into your Friday. Here it is, snow continuing into the morning hours. We'll start to see high pressure start to crest overhead. So that'll shut down these lake effect machines here off of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And we'll start to break out something we haven't seen in quite a while, the sunshine. But don't let that fool you. Look at these temperatures. Binghamton, New York won't even make it to 20. Syracuse and Albany might not even make it to 15. Look at this Burlington in the single digits here. Even along coastal areas, barely getting out of the 20s and low 30s in some areas. And look at that as the snow machines shut down later in the day here. The damage will have been done over 25 inches in the heaviest lake effect bands that develop over the next couple days. So quite a band of snow off of both Lake Erie and Lake Ontario with all the enhancements. So that's why I'm calling it a lake enhanced snowstorm. You've had some synoptic type capabilities here along with the lake effect kicking in behind this trough of low pressure. So Friday, we shut it down, sunny skies. Friday night into Saturday morning, lows in the single digits, many areas. Saturday, here you have it. We get that light snow with the synoptic system just to our south, that system I was mentioning this weekend across the south. We may start to get light snow developing from I-80 on southward in Pennsylvania. So there you have it. This is the forecast that I'm looking at. It looking a lot winterier here across the Northeast than we've seen in recent days. So if you've been missing winter, this is the forecast for you. And this is only a tip of the iceberg of things to come here later on in January as the pattern really starts to slip towards winter. Let's take a look at my five day outlook from my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and Northeast Pennsylvania. Binghamton to Wilkesbury, Scranton and all points in between. Take a look Wednesday, your last warm day here across the Northeast. Binghamton area breaking out into the sunny skies, but 
Later in the day, clouds roll in with chance of lake effect snow showers up to an inch into your Thursday and Friday, maybe up to an inch Thursday as well with some lake enhanced snowstorm just to your north into Friday. Take a look at that, blustery and cold, but clearing skies, temperatures getting up only into the upper teens. Look at that Saturday morning down in the single digits in the normally colder valleys, and look at that. Chance of light snow likely for Sunday, maybe an inch or two with that synoptic system. So we got chances of snow, albeit maybe an inch or two each day here, but very blustery or winds 20 to 40 miles per hour. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark, subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark.com. Thanks for joining me for this edition of Weather Northeastern, Facebook at MediaMark, and WX Northeastern on Twitter. MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com. Thank you for joining me.